I interview Rainwater and he pretty much says you you held his nuts on Mo three when he was alive. Like you wouldn't you wasn't trying to get that to be an official remix. Yo, he he. Had, I mean, that's the. I wasn't just. I wanted the. I wanted the song. I wanted. It, I wanted a bigger artist on it. And and at the time, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna be honest. You know, people want to paint that picture like we like we were best friends or like I knew three. I I didn't know him. So, you know, at the time, that's just another artist. That's at the time he got bigger in his depth. So that that's what made me say, okay, let's do it. But at the time. I wasn't a hundred percent sold on three being a person, and and at the time I wasn't even listening to Dallas music. I didn't, I wasn't a Mo three fan musically. That's not what I'm. That's not what what I'm playing. What well, well, it's not what I was playing in my car. So I, I wasn't just rushing to, to 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 get the remix to let anybody on the remix. I wasn't in a rush to do that. You know, you know, you gotta play. You, we playing chess at the time, and that's just that's just the first person to reach out. You know, so if Mo three didn't die, if he was just the Mo three, the Dallas rapper Mo three that we all know, you probably wouldn't have released it. You feel like because he died, made him bigger, and it, it helped the record out better. That of course that took the record to a whole another level. That uh, that took the record. You know, when he passed, all of the blogs were posting that post. You know, that's on shame room. That's on academics. You know, I ain't never been on none of that. So you know, him passing definitely took the record to a whole nother level. But, but you know, if he wouldn't have passed, it it might have still it it would just depend on how things went because because I still had Blueface hit me. So I think him passing made me is what made it is what made and is what made them double back and hit me up because at the time we wasn't coming to and we we weren't coming to me and Ryan I mean Ryan per se wasn't coming to an agreement on on what we wanted to do on how we wanted to run the record so i think him passing and the song doing what it was doing then is kind of what made them double back and be like all right let's see what we can do to make this happen man i like i said and and like i told big d in, in in our interview the song is dope but i mo3 was so talented I don't see in any other artist who could have done what Mo3 did on your record. For sure. Sonically, but shit, Lil Baby and Lil Dirk is a different ball I don't think game. Lil Baby, I don't think Lil Baby or Dirk could have did your song justice. How Mo3 gave it that gospel. No, I that agree with flair. you. I agree with you. I agree with you. But you know, and I'ma say this is what I'm gonna say more so. At the time, this is what I'm thinking. At the time when three alive and and and, and Ryan and they and they hit me and talking to me. At the time, my mindset is I, I want bigger. And so it wasn't that I was trying to hold my nuts. It was just that I know I know the song, the song, the choirs in the beat alone, the song is just a hit. Like the song, the song a hit no matter how you bend it or break it. It's a hit. When 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 A-list artists hear it, that's gonna be some shit that hey, I wouldn't mind. Let's say it was Drake. Now I ain't never got to rap again. Now I'm done. I'm retired. You know, it's it's ace in the hole. First play, check, written, we gone. You know, and that's kind of my, my that's kind of how I'm looking at the game right now. Like,